Hey guys, Mike Toy Bonsai Boise. So I've got this little Shaflera grouping. You call it a clump, I guess. Uh, I would call it a grouping because it's just a group of them. It's basically four. You can see in there, hopefully. Um, I haven't done a video on these yet because um, basically I just <laughs> stuck them in this pot. Last year when I did my original Shiflera, uh clump that I got on clearance for 10 bucks, some of the cuttings from that, just stuck it in this pot, let them do their thing. They were probably half this size though at the time. Let me see if I can give you a good example. Here's a good example right here. So right there you can see, that's where I cut it. And so since then it's about doubled in size almost maybe. Um, so it's doing well, however, I'm seeing signs of what I believe is some type of insect problem, probably aphids. I've got aphids at this property bad the past two years. Don't know why, didn't have them at my last house, never had them before, but here it's like out of a horror movie kind of bad. It is disgusting. So I don't see them all over this plant, which is good. I see little tiny traces, like I see a couple of them here, a couple of them there, and there's some instances here I'll give you an example here I'm gonna take a clip of this leaf right here there you go I was gonna trim that anyways but hopefully you can see that see these little bumps on the in the leaf there I don't know what that is because it's not on that side it's almost it seems like it's indented so I don't know if there's actually something in there like i don't know if bugs laid eggs in there or something or if it's just some natural thing i don't really know but i'm not gonna take any chances so here's the plan a gonna repot this into a pot that's only slightly bigger but give it a little more room to grow and maybe it's i'm sure it's close to root bound by now who knows um and then b I'm gonna spray it down. Sorry, see a little spider right there. I'm gonna take care of him right now. Oh. He got away. B, gonna spray it down with some insecticide. I've been trying different types of insecticide. Today, I'm using one called Seven. It's a red bottle. Um, I'll give you a picture of it right here. Never tried it before, trying it today. I used it on the hibiscus plant out front. Um, I guess we'll see. I've had hit and miss luck, so uh, I'm hoping that this works. But once I get this into the new pot, um, and I'm gonna change the position here on some of these like this. See how this is going out and then growing back in? I'm gonna switch that around so it's going up and then growing out. Same story, this one's kind of growing in the direction I want. Same here. This one's close, but it's got a branch growing inward, so I'm probably gonna do something there so that it grows outward. Um, I might clean up some of these little sprouts here. I don't know yet. We'll see when we get there. But uh, I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to spray it down with this insecticide and hope for the best. So let's go.
Okay, so there it is. Like I said, it wasn't that exciting of a project. Just a little, it's a fun project. Anytime I, I take clippings of something and it they blossom really well and it turns into what could be a, a potentially good specimen, then, you know, that's always fun and exciting a little bit. Um, probably more for me than anybody else watching. <laughs> but in any case, that's that's it so it went pretty well the roots look really healthy um, it was it seemed to me like it was just the right amount of root bound um, there was some circling around with the roots that you saw but it wasn't so root bound that it was suffocating in there um, because what can happen is if it gets too root bound there's not enough soil left uh, to hold any moisture in so when you water it it just goes straight through the roots I mean it gets some of that moisture but for the most part it just runs right out the bottom and they end up drowning or not drowning but uh, dying dying of thirst <laughs> I don't know the right term for it um, but uh, but no it had just the right amount so yeah I think it was a good time to do it um, not the most glamorous pot in the world either but that's okay it's just the right size like I said this is a, a, a pre bonsai project ultimately down the road I'd like to see it as a, as a nice little clump style um, once it gets a little more defined and once this has some better aging on it you can see some of them are starting to age here gets that kind of white looking bark on the trunk um, that takes time so we'll let it go for now one one last thing I'll point out I did spray it down with insecticide as you saw make sure that you are upwind of that not downwind when you're doing it um, because you know you don't want a face full of poison so that's something I wanted to point out anytime you do that I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If so, please click like and subscribe on the channel and leave any comments that you have with um, either aphids, if you have an aphid problem, or chefleras, um, or just bonsai in general. So uh, love to love to see comments and, and chat about that. So have a good night.